Hey everyone, welcome to our Saturday night stream. I am Mix242 coming to you live as we continue to play PsyOps the Mind Gate Conspiracy. Fine game on the PS2. Very difficult. Left off um, with the boss from Mission 5 last time. I could not beat her. Not defeat her. Um, we tried two or three times, put in a good half an hour to try to beat her. And uh, this wasn't happening. So we're coming back tonight to finish that up and hopefully finish Mission 6, which also has a boss. This game has taken us a while and we've been playing it for almost two weeks now. I don't mind it. I love the game, but that's a testament to how hard it is, how difficult it is to play and beat all the missions in this game. But it's good. It's it's really good. I'm feeling a little tired tonight, but committed to streaming. I uh, hope everybody's having a good Saturday and weekend. Start the game up. Playing the Play the Prey soundtrack, the newer Prey game, the original one. Love that game so much. That's a game I should have streamed online. I did it, sadly. Get the PlayStation, the emulated PlayStation running. That we do things here. See you later. Of course, PCSX always thinks it's a different window. Midway Games. Midway Games. Wii Games doesn't exist anymore. I think they were bought by Warner Brothers, I think. Originally, they were putting out the, uh, well, they were uh, publishing the Mortal Kombat series, I think. And I think they got absorbed by Acclaim, or they absorbed Acclaim, something like that, and then I think Warner Brothers took over everything. No, Ed Boon has a voiceover actually as an extra in this game. Someone in, was in my last stream or the stream before told me, and it's pretty interesting. It makes sense that they went on to publish a lot of the uh, Mortal Kombat games because Ed Boon's of Mortal Kombat fame. So there you have it. Game has awfully low audio. Alright, so we gotta fight the boss. Basically, we gotta run around the room, throw objects at it. We have vases in the room. We have um, parts of the ceiling that eventually fall down. Um, it's a hard boss. We came so close to beating it three times already. We just couldn't put it away. I just need to know, learn that I gotta just keep running and keep growing and eventually it'll hit the target. When you're using telekinesis here to throw objects, there is no aiming. It just auto-aims, which is great. The game really needed that. And it works perfectly. Just pick up the item, throw it in the direction you want it to, and it'll hit whatever its intended target is. I don't think the gun does much, even though all the walkthroughs I've seen say they do. Watch the cutscene. This is a new stream. Ears don't lie, Scryer. You feel your true self, your true essence. You fear to trust your own memory, and so they stay hidden. Perhaps, like your memory, your senses cannot be trusted as well. Yeah, so now we're going to take on all the samurai statues in this room, so let's give this a shot. Pick up the objects and throw them. And we got to avoid their sword swings, obviously. About eight of them, or nine of them, I think. Mm. 
after about eight hits, I think, they end up rumbling the statues, and the other ones become awakened and possessed. So. Best bet is to get through this without having to use a health item. Got one swordsman coming up behind me. Just gotta stay on the move and keep running away from it. Alright, one crumbled. What's cool is they leave parts of their uh, the statue behind we could use as objects to attack with. There's always two attacking. When you get to the very end, they add an extra one to attack you. So you get attacked by three, and then it gets a little annoying, but after that, it's the real boss battle. What's cool is... It doesn't take a lot of... Telekinesis powers here to keep throwing the objects at them, but you also have to make sure, like, you don't do what I just did right there, which is basically um, throw the item I was going to hit him with directly at me. Alright. You crumble? No. Get away from him. I heard him crumble. The storm inside has no calm. And I've tried shooting them with a the gun. There's just no reason to. Hey, sleeper, how's it going? How's your weekend? been trying to get through this boss now since last evening. Before we actually fight the boss, we gotta take out all these statues. I'm doing good. Doing good. A little tired. Spent the day on a, at a conference with my wife. And then, uh, for some reason, I decided to make stuffed shells tonight. So, every half an hour break we had during the conference, I was like, <laughs> just cooking like a madman. Just, you know, making the stuffing and everything through shells. And... I mean, it came out good, but it was more work than I anticipated. How's your night going? Nah, just cheese. Uh, ricotta cheese and um, mozzarella. But I think next time I might do spinach. I didn't realize my wife had bought spinach yesterday and I could have stuffed it in there. But we put Parmesan on top and um, parsley on the inside, so it's good. Yeah, no, it would probably be great with spinach. This is really lax here right now playing this. Gotta run away. As long as the cheese is in there, you're winning. Oh, there's plenty of cheese. Probably more than I should have had in there illegally. I had cheese left over, I had ricotta left over, I tried to make something else with the ricotta that was left over, and I just failed miserably. 
ended up having to throw it away. So render your power, or I must take it from you. All right, one more down. Two down. Awesome. Looks like we're down to two of them. for me. Ah, you hit me again. That means I'm dead. That was an accident. Complete accident. Oh, I ran into the pillar. That's what happened. And then the other guy took an extra swing at me because he was close by. Here we go again. Once we get past this, though... The game, Blake, there's like three missions left after we get past this mission, so. Hoping after Monday's stream will be done, but. Your perception is distorted. Run from yourself. It's a good game. DRS picked it. Battle points, so. The second good game he picked. Alright, one down. Reality can ignite your fears. Keep throwing pieces at him. Almost down. I got him. Right? Nope. I got him. Trying to get a little more aggressive here so we don't stay the old night trying this out. Oh, you hit me. Nope. Yeah, DRS is great at picking games. He's giving me some good choices. We did Requiem. Um, forget the full name. It's... Sanity's Requiem? Is that it? On uh, GameCube? And that was pretty cool. Really nice horror game. Hit this guy, where he takes a swing at. Yeah, I guess I would have gotten to this eventually, but um, I'm glad he picked it because I have a ton of PS2 games I need to play. Run! Oh, he's gonna take a swipe. Hit <laughs> myself with that. Pick a saboteur game for him. That's fun to watch. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I love the saboteur. Saw it online for sale, on a, and as a whim, I was like, oh, this looks awesome. I gotta play this. Underrated game, kind of like. Kind of like. BTA only takes place in World War II, and it was awesome. Getting a little careless here. Oops. Now there's three of them on the board, I think. Yeah, and he liked Fear as well. Although I think Fear I didn't really pick. I... I voted for it in Polygon. And then he, we all, I also picked Outland, which he liked, but that was more creature picking it and me second it. Oh god, how are we gonna survive this? Only got two health kits left. Go into sneak mode. I always get him into sneak mode by accident. Man 
person can only see what is in front of him. Never stops talking, does she? Get away, get away! Ah. Uh, not gonna have enough health, I think, to go through the next boss completely. BS. I needed at least two health kits for the next boss. Did I just pick him up? No, he, he was climbing over something. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to do this again. I only have one health kit left, and there's none left in this room. They never gave us any in this room. Alright, down to two. Gotta do this without dying. From him. He is game. But satisfying. Alright. This one to my right. My will He's close to death. getting there. Just gotta stay alive. No, no, no. Alright, one down. One more to go. Oh my goodness. So seriously. Okay, let's try to get this done without using any health items. I think that would be best. I think we can make good progress doing that. Once you get past this part, the hard start. The hard part starts. So. Does I need more Psy? I think I will. There we go. Your perception is distorted. Run from yourself. The hard part starts. What a yeah, what a tongue twister indeed. Although, I fumble a lot of lines. Especially when I'm busy running for my life, like now. Alright, one down. Two down. That's a cool thing, though. If you hit them while they're attacking, they stop attacking. I can't stream and think either. Most people can't. Yeah. Wow, how did we not get hit there? Come on, just pick up and throw. He's about to go down, right? Yep. Your battle is with yourself, Scryer. Oh, 
I missed them. Sometimes you could just pick up the same item and cheese them a little, but that's rare because they they come at you with their swords, so you don't just stand still. Man can only see what is in front of him. All right, that hit him. into the stream are we 20 minutes right so it took me 20 minutes and I still haven't gotten past this part so when you get power, and I got hit mod all right another one down get away from them No! Let's hit him as many times as we can here. One more down. Good. I got this. I got this. Don't get hit anymore. Keep hitting them. Doesn't matter which one you hit, eventually they'll go down. Run! Lucky there. Smack myself in the head with a vase. No, no, no! Run! I can't use that health kit until I'm up to the boss. Do or die time here, I think. It's hard to kind of focus on them when you're doing this. All right, one down. One of the other ones should go down now, too. You accidentally go into sneak mode, that's when they get you. And he got me there, so run. Hitting him. One down. Alright, boss time. Here she comes. I can't remember her name. I don't want to mispronounce it. Still deadly to the soul. <laughs> yeah, she turns into this hideous, like, three-headed monster. Or she has these, like, two two arms tree monster thing. I don't know what she is. You gotta keep hitting her and running. She throws spits acid at you, which doesn't do a lot of damage. But if she catches you, she uses a sonic attack. That... Pretty much brings you close to doubt. Yeah, reverse makeover indeed.
pick up random items and throw them at her, I guess. Doesn't matter where you're throwing them from. Got three different health bars. Or three different parts of her, I guess. So basically, don't stop. You don't get hit by an item. Falls from the sky. Just keep running. Easier said than done. If we die here, though, we gotta take out the statues again. What's BS about this? No phase one checkpoint. I have to use my last health kit. That was a good shot. I think the bricks do more, or the concrete does more damage than the porcelain. Or ceramics. Which kind of makes sense, I guess, but... Keep throwing things. Eventually I'll hit her. Good. We're doing good. Don't jinx this. Don't jinx this. Just concentrate. You're not dead yet. That hit me. It's a little harder when she's down to like one health bar. But hey, she did her sonic sonic attack there. Keep throwing things at her. Right in the crotch. That didn't really do any damage, did it? Sorry if I'm not paying attention to chat, but. Come on! Get up! Oh my goodness. Hey, Nikita Launcher, how's it going? How you doing, Nikita? It's been a while. Bonjour. <laughs> On sleep. Ooh la la. Monchetti. I don't know if you've ever played this game, Nikita. It's good, but it's really tough. Well, it's PsyOps. And it's uh, a PS2 game, so. Ears don't lie, Scryer. You feel your true self. Your true Place in Castlevania, Lament of Innocence? You nice. You trust your own memories, and so they stay hidden. Perhaps, like your memories, your senses... Yeah, it's quite good. DRS suggested it with his channel points, and uh, it's a very good game, but it's very hard. So, we lost in Phase 2 of the boss, so now we gotta go back and fight all the Phase 1 bosses. This this is insane. Ludicrous. My illusions will destroy me. Like, I don't think setting them on fire does anything. You can't set stone on fire, so... 
Oh, maybe you can. Oh, get out of there. Yeah, all right. Fire works better. Let's, let's use fire. Oh, what this? Ghost them up. Can't use all of my telekinesis there. The storm inside has. Hey, when games do this, wait, wait, wait. That's actually messed up. Yeah, it is. But I realized like my arrow. Pyro attack does more damage to him now. Maybe I'll just keep using that. Man can only see what is in front of him. That's when she kind of alludes that there's someone coming up from behind. <laughs> Okay, we got enough pyro or psi here to use up our pyro. Get myself in the head with that. Did I take him out? No, that did not take him out. Come on. I put him out. Get away from him. I said get away from him. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Look at this. They're all ganging up on me now. Let's get out of here. Now it all goes to shit, right? I'm losing all my health. What? This is BS. Alright, that's it with the fire, because I really gotta concentrate on throwing things here. I messed that up. That was on me. I thought the pyro was really hurting them. I guess if I hit them when they're on fire or they're hot, it makes a world of a difference, but... Really can't use any more health items here. Need it for the boss. Alright, one down. I hit him. Concentrate. Can't mind control them because they have no minds. Surrender your power, or I must take it from you. One more to go. Probably best. Use my last health item so we start the next battle. As much health as we can have. Get 
That hit him. It also hit me, unfortunately. Two more hits. Be it. That was it. All right, let's see if we make it past her. He turns into this hideous um, three-armed monster. We'll skip this part. Yeah, new objective. Like, I really need to know what my objective is here. Light her on fire, come on. Didn't really do any damage to her to fire. Keep going, keep going. Got three bars. Just gotta keep running. Her Acid Spit doesn't do a lot of damage, but her Sonic Shot is the worst. Oh, I didn't realize this opened up an area. God forbid they put a health kit here, right? It's more Psy Elixirs. I never noticed that. Run! Run, run, run. That hit. Be cool if we had a med kit in here. Apparently we don't. Just one med kit. All I would need. A good one, not the chintzy one that only replenishes like a quarter of your health. Again. Alright. So for the stone statues, we blast them with fire and then throw something at them. And I think that brings them down altogether. This one here in the corner should be the easiest one. Skip this cutscene. Yep, that's how you do it. Easy. Another one now. I'm gonna blow our way through here. Otherwise, you gotta hit him like 10 times with an object. work on the first couple? I don't understand. I think we... Aha, DRS. DRS, thank you for the host. Appreciate it. How's the weekend going? Found an easier way to take out the statues. We heat them up and throw something at them. That freezes them, actually, for a little bit. One more left. We got them. It. We're gonna make it to the next part with all our health intact. Hopefully this is it. I'm doing good. 
Getting, this is getting easier now. We have all our med kits at this point, so... And I found out that there's a new area back here we get. I never noticed before. We could run into. And I'm hoping at some point it'll give me a med kit, an extra one. Why not? Stop throwing things at yourself, man. Yeah, boy G, thank you for the host. How's it going, man? How's your weekend? Welcome, welcome. I saw you were playing some Persona earlier. Thank you for the host again. Okay, now it's time to use a help kit. Use two of them. Just in case. catch up on chat in a bit. I think we got this this time. Oh! Everything I thought we were going to use to throw at her just disappeared. Pick up things and throw it. Nice. Good damage. Good damage. Good amount. Avoid that sonic boom. Keep throwing things. One of the arms is almost gone. Got three of them. All right, one down, one down. Starting to get a little antsy. I almost got the second one. Oh, snap. Jump. No, 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 no. Keep throwing things at it. Still got a med kit. Did it. Finally, we beat her. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the GG. He sucked. Now we can move on with our lives. I see your true self. You feel <sighs> your best. You I ain't stealing your Reese's, sad boy G. By fate. What did Thank you. you. Thank you, Nikita. I saw what you cannot remember. 
You have the power. The power to stop the general. That is why you were... I could swear that was the same exact dialogue she had at the end of the last mission. <laughs> He's cute again, but dead. Yeah, deadly. But she's been put out of her misery. I didn't realize she was cute at one point. He's like Hulk. <laughs> Hulk smash! Yes, exactly like Hulk. So, return to the Great Hall and take the Sky Bridge to access the Fusion Tower. <laughs> This isn't exactly the end of the mission, I think. We gotta go back, but at least we could save it now and not have to fight her again. By the way, my techniques for taking out the statues was not listed in any of the walkthroughs or FAQs I looked up. I looked up at least three different ones, so. Alright, we got a med kit. We'll take it back here. All right, I guess we backtrack now. Any items here? No. The door we go through? Hold on. There's a door here that's open. I don't think we went through it before. I think it was locked. Oh, that's the mission completion area. We did $289,000 worth of damage. The creativity. Unlock a whole bunch of extra things, but I don't... Extra mission survival? I don't think I'm going to be playing the extra missions because this game's kicking my butt. Save it again. I want to go back and I want to play like a lot of the Castlevania games I missed. I mean, I already replayed Symphony of the Night. Castlevania 2, I could beat that in like one playthrough, but... Oh yes, that's right. I gotta get across here. And the only way to get across, I think, is to... ...line these up. Kicking my butt. Alright, one down. Oh no! I Oh, I was gonna say I blew up the thing I needed to get across. Ah. Oh well. Try that again. How far from the end are you? I think I've only played one Castlevania game, not totally sure I've played games inspired by them though. Um I am mission six, that's what this is. So there's nine missions. I want to finish at least mission six tonight. And then tomorrow we could play mission seven. I've been warned about how bad the boss is. He's really tough. Let me throw him around. You know what? Screw this. Let him do all the killing for us. Not 
close enough? Hold on. There we go. Mind control. Alright, one left. I'm getting general positive feedback on the uh Hold on. Complete my thought in a second. Let me just make sure I get through here. I gotta position these. Oh snap. I don't think I can get across now. I'm up here. Yes, he's trying to. Oh, this this kind of sucks. I hold on. He's gonna try to float my way across. Now I have no way of getting across. What? Yes. All right, he's dead. That's good. Oh, okay, we can follow the pipes, but now what? Yeah, I could float on the object I'm listing, but I dropped it by accident, so... Do it over. And this time I'm not going to move any of the objects until those four soldiers on the other side are dead. I see a quick way of killing them. There's two canisters that can explode on the other side. Come on, mind control. Tried to blow up those canisters, but. I think I killed one? No? Just let him get into a fist fight. Okay, now... And throw him off to his death. Try to beat, beat it by tomorrow night. Then of innocence. All right, see we can do this now. Not what I intended, but see, floating across. Like Jesus. What's that? Like, come on. Who's saying that? Oh, up there. I see. Get some power here. This are the deadliest weapon in this game. They're better than my guns. Somebody up there? Oh, no. Oh, have a nice fall. This game is cool because it gives you multiple ways of killing your enemies and you can get creative with it, so... Okay. Ammo. Or Gundo, I don't know. Mm. 
love when he hits himself on his face. No, that's not what I had in mind, though. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, that's what we need to do. We need to throw objects so that... Hello. Might need live people to do this. We gotta overload the circuit here, so blows up the turbine, and then we can go across because there'll be no electric electrified floor. Problem when you can't throw anything at them. Fresh meat. There we go. All right. Looks like we got one or two more to go. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Well, almost. Burn him like carry. He's afraid he's hiding. Still wants to get up. You were landing with the magic chunk of bridge. Yes, pretty much. We got through it. That's pretty cool. How you can just, like, teleport yourself or elevate yourself and just fly across. Also blow up their heads, which is really nice, but you need to sneak up behind them in order to... Okay, so I think we need to go up, but there's a secret down below. Hang on, what's the secret here? Oh, med kit. Die rejuvenator. Hey, Plasma, how's it going? Still having fun with PsyOps? Yeah, we made it to mission six finally. The last boss was kind of kind of iffy. How's it going, Vert? Vertiginous. Finally got it right. How's everybody tonight? Hope everybody's having a good weekend. The plasma, you inspired me. I picked up Doom 3. <laughs> I think I'll give it a, uh, a try. Oh, this part. This part's in... Oh, it's nearly impossible. The Hydrant Collider, and it keeps... The energy ball keeps going around and around, and you gotta make it from point A to point B without getting killed. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I needed that. I needed his mind power. Not bad. The way you played it, though, is the right way to play it. Save, just in case there's a checkpoint here. Actually, I, until Poundcake said it on the stream the other day, I did, wasn't 100% sure how to pronounce it, so I always called him Vert, and I feel sorry for that. I really like Doom 3 as a more horror-themed um, FPS. Yeah, that's what it was originally supposed to be, so it's more atmospheric. Yeah, the way you played it was great. It really made it look like a polished game that achieved the fact that, you know, that it was a more of a horror game. Can't go wrong with Doom. Might pick up Doom 2016 if it's finally on sale. Really cheap. I think it is. Okay, here's what we gotta do. We're not gonna get ourselves killed. We're gonna mind control this guy. Make a run for it now. We 
Wait for that blast to go past and continue. Although I think I went the wrong way. Doom 3 Mountain Medium back then. That was a while ago. I screwed this up. I went the wrong way. I have to reload. Because I'm almost out of power and I can't control them anymore. Doom 2016 was pretty awesome. I liked it. Yeah. Doom Eternal is pretty nice looking too, but... There's a lot of good first-person shooters out there. But wait, at this point... I'm kind of screwed because I don't have anybody's body to pop into? Wait, I must be missing something. There's supposed to be levers here. What did I not pick up? That's where I'm supposed to go. That just makes the energy go by us faster. Wait, what did I miss? Bert's so nice, you can call him whatever you want. Whatever you want. Vert, vertiginous, hooker, murderer. Murderer. Oh, God. Birdie, birdie. Kind of proud of hooker murdering. Sometimes you get to flaunt it. I haven't played the newest one, waiting for it to go on sale. Yeah, same here. It's probably going to be on sale this week. I've seen it for, like, $70, but I'm going to wait a while. I still want to play Doom 3 and... You know, back in my GTA days, I murdered so many hookers. <laughs> you think I was Jack the Ripper? Yeah, there was plenty back in the day. GTA 1 and 2 is pretty cool. Uh, Camilio has been playing it recently. Get a launcher, I'm just... I'm gonna just ship you that sign. Let him not a hooker. No, no, it's your sign. Your pride and joy is you. Nix is the sexiest stripper on Twitch. Thank you, Plasma. I love that line you used the other night. They were playing so badly, they played like Pam Girls. No, what did I do that for? I should have taken over his body. Accelerate. Ah, okay. Screw this increased. up. We're gonna have to do this over. Back here, anything? Anything I could use? All right, I'm going to take him over, which that's what I was trying to avoid. Let's do this right this time. We got to go left out of the gate. Sometimes I even amaze myself with what I say. I should have clipped that. It was like I was just lurking, and then I just started laughing out loud after I heard it. Bird has a sign on his basement door that says, Dead Hooker Storage, in case you guys didn't know who you're friends with. <laughs> Awesome. Who's there? What are you doing? Bird, if you're interested, there's a movie called Dead Hooker in a Trunk, which is really good. Check it out. It doesn't have anybody too famous, except for the directors in it. I have a sign above my basement. Yeah, Dead Hooker Storage. So I'm just going to ship it to him. He's going to pay for postage, though. Let's do this right. Hold on. No! Don't do that. There we go. The energy go this way. We're going to use him. Come on, energy. Only have a limited amount. I'm 
make it without getting killed here? Yes? No? Ah, oh, so close. Take that. Accelerator core pressure increased to 1.2 kilowatts. We're out of psi power anyway, so let them just get killed by the accelerator. Where do you go? Keep going left. <laughs> 1 1.21 1 gigawatts. Hit him so hard he flew back. Not gonna get any easier. Look at look at the speed it's going right now. I'm barely making it to the, to the stops here. Uh, where's the switch here? Look at this. There's a make kit too. Can I get in there? Where's the switch in here? There's no switch? Problem is, it's trying to actually find the switches. There's one in here, but... What's through this door? Oh, that's where we came in. Sorry. See this switch over here? If I pull it, I'm good as dead. There's no more Psy here. This sucks. The blue outfit adds speed. I think it does. It makes it more aerodynamic. What the, what are you doing? Don't die. I needed you. Oh, he's on fire now. Look at that. And throw it around with precision. Got some health. Can I get you to the next area without getting killed? Where's the switch? The switch was to my left, I think. Yes, I really do have him fired up. Poor guy. Come on. No psi power. It's my first day. Well, that did it. I power back here. Get out of my way. Let me get it. And we'll take him for a run. What are you playing nowadays, uh, BZ Plasma, by the way? Come on. Might as well do this myself. There's so many items along the way. Pick up. Where's... Oh, where's the switch? Well, this is the room we started in. Let's 
is where it gets really weird because we made it the whole way around and there's no other sw um, switches. I played Doom Co-op yesterday and got King's Quest Mask of Eternity working. Oh, nice. Might be playing Mask of Eternity. That's cool. I got to play Doom Co-op with you at least once. I got to set up Doom for that. Never played a King's Quest game, but I would like to. They seem like a lot of fun. They are. They're very old school. Never have they played through them. I don't know if he highlights his VODs, but if he does, I recommend checking them out before you play them to get an idea about them. Did I just get hit? No, that was the guy. Get. How did I get stuck? Yeah, Mask of Eternity is quite different, though. It's more of a third-person ARPG. Yes. That's still the unofficial official game, right? Like, they, they, the rights went to whoever picked up Sierra, I think, and they tried to make it, and then... Stop shooting at me. There you go. Oh, almost got him killed. It's still official, and I actually liked liked it. Uh, it's kind of fun. I'll have to give you a watch when you play it. There's supposed to be levers in here. Here's the other lever. Accelerator core pressure increased to 1.2 kilowatts. 1.2 gigawatts. Kilowatts, I guess. Your turn. I think there's a lever over here. Kilowatts. Now I'm not too sure what to do. The guy's like, what happened? Especially if you're a fan of third-person ARPGs like Gothic Crusader and m, &M and uh, Ultima 9, etc. Yeah, um, all those games are pretty cool. I really, one of the games I want to play is uh, Legend of Grimrock. A good um, new old dungeon third-person kind of Baller. Is that it? Or am I still supposed to run around? We're dead. Yeah, I've seen Vaporium. Um, I've seen the expansion or the second game that kind of came out now. And it wasn't that good. Well, I admit, I am kind of biased because I haven't played Mask of Eternity since 99. So going back to the game 21 years later and being like, I remember this. It's so nostalgic. That's cool. Vaporum. Yes, Vaporum. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, maybe it was helpful to look at the uh, whole entire... There we go. Screen, there's four doors we gotta get past. I only have a limited amount of side too. I got an idea after we get past this one. Let's switch number one here. Accelerator core pressure increased to 1.2 kilowatts. See how far we can get if we get to the next door. I doubt it. So close, so close. Come on, come on. Oh, it's not there. That's a fugazi room. Big dungeon crawler fan, especially Eye of the Beholder. 
Yeah, there, I, Eye of the Beholder is just wonderful. Um, that's a good game. My first dungeon crawler that I played that was first person was Lands of Lore, which is on the Eye of the Beholder engine. I found out. I think what we're going to have to do is start making our... Oh, that was BS. He clipped through the floor. I think we're going to have to do the rest of this ourselves. Who are you? No, you're not. Keep running. K4. The game is like glitching out. Okay, so I need to go to door three. That was K4. Yeah, I had it on uh, diskette, so I unfortunately, I didn't have the um, five minute voiceover by Patrick Stewart. Lucked out on that. It's K4. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Love how he just flopped over after running into the door. Reminds me of how janky his messiah mechanics were, yes. They could only afford like two minutes of Patrick Stewart to voice still in that game. Is there any more Sai in here? I think I just killed the only guy I could control from here. Make a run for it. Door coming up to our right. A three. There we go. That helped. Don't do that. Just don't do that to me because I need to control you. Reacher, how's it going? We're getting there on this game. Tough one. The health kit right there too. He pulled that one down. I think he did. He's gonna try to run back here and end up getting himself killed. Almost like Oblivion, where they had Patrick Stewart for 10 minutes. I didn't realize he was in Oblivion. That was a big draw. You had to get it on CD for Patrick Stewart. I, of course, I bought it on, on a disc. All right, med pack. Use one of them now. Nope. I always get stuck there. I cannot go into door K2. It's going to take a while. Yep, he was the Tiber Septum at the very beginning. I did not know that. It's like I have X-Wing versus TIE Fighter on Floppy. Wish I had the CD version. Could have been one of the cool kids. I had that on Floppy too, so don't feel bad, Bert. All those games like made me mad when they re-released them on uh, on CD.
Run. Go the reverse direction. Whatever. Come on. UK4 over here. The back wall. Accelerator core pressure increased to 1.2 kilowatts. Actually, X-Wing versus TIE Fighter... No, the original X-Wing game was one that my friend ended up getting. And he made copies on this sketch for me, so... That's how I had it. Was it X-Wing or no? X-Wing I bought myself. I think TIE Fighter was the one that he made copies for me. That's how we used to do it back in the day. We would just trade games. Accelerator core pressure increased to 2.5 kilowatts. Run! Run, 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 run. You got this. Maybe not. Only an X-Wing Alliance on CD? Now it doesn't really matter nowadays, but... I'm gonna have to look up a walkthrough for this, I think. What? Is this another drill? It doesn't matter, we're both dead. Let's look this up. There's four doors we need to go through. Three levers we need to pull. I think I'm supposed to pull two levers on each side, then the one in the room I'm in, and then the fourth door is where we leave. Possibly. Psyops walkthrough. Sorry for taking up time on the stream. Hey, Vert. Someone I follow is doing Family Feud. I thought it was you at first. Yeah, I saw that too. Somebody did Family Feud. They did like a weird version of it too. Vert's the original though. You can only play Family Feud on Vert's channel. He tried so hard and got so far, but in the end it didn't even matter. Very poetic lyrics there. Very appropriate. It's a nice Xbox walkthrough. It's the closest thing to this version that's accurate. It still doesn't have like all the hints for beating the last boss. Yeah, so how do we do this? And there's a boss battle in this mission too. This is crazy. Kill the MP2 or the MC. Or MC him. Have him go out to the door on the left for some extra fun. Flip the switch on the left. There is a Psy Rejuvenator behind the tank. Open the door and wait for the electric current to go by. And then quickly dash towards the right and stand next to the worker. Get the field medical pack on the right. Okay, I got this. We're supposed to run down the hall and not stay where we are after every switch that's pulled. Lincoln my Dinkin. In park. What are you doing? Okay, going this way. That's how you don't run out of Psy energy. You just keep moving to the other rooms and then the Psy energy is there. And then you have other characters that you could use to uh Accelerator core pressure increased to 1.2 kilowatts. Please, I'm a yeah, just don't start hitting me. We could possess some other characters back there too. Appropriate because the 20th anniversary of Hybrid Theory came out this year. Oh yeah, that's right. It was 2000 when it came out. Got a med pack.
I think I screwed up here. This wasn't the door I was supposed to go through, was it? Back into high school on your iPod? I was at my first job. That's how old I am. I was at my first job that year, and I remember going to the back room. We called it the bullpen because that's where all the guys who did all the uh, retouching work hung out, and... Not him, this guy. I need him alive. Oh, well, he's no longer alive, but I needed one of them alive. See this door? Eventually, we gotta go through there. Yeah, I went back to that room where all the guys were doing the color retouching were, and all they were listening to was Lincoln Park, and I was like, oh, okay. That's how I discovered them. Okay, this is like beyond hard. Been at it for like 45 minutes now. Yeah, it's annoying. I saw a video on YouTube of how to get through it, which made it look really easy. The problem is, is that it's not. Accelerator core pressure increased to 1.2 kilowatts. Where'd the boy in blue go? He's up there. Okay, that's why we're using a uh, walkthrough. This is like really tough and um, this is not a blind playthrough by any means. Okay, so we went to the room on the left and we pulled the switch. We marked K4 is the one on the right though. Open the door and wait for the electric current to go by and then quickly dash towards the right and stand next to the worker. After the current goes by, run up in the door up ahead, it'll be Mark K4. There's a Psi Power up there. Dispose of the MP2 and get the field medical pack on the right and pistol ammo on the left. Now flip the switch back. Flip the switch back? I'm going to do exactly what they tell me here. Walkthroughs always make things look super easy. Yeah, they do. And I, I think they just do multiple takes until they get the right one and... I make things look super easy as well. Yes, you do, actually, Plasma. You're just good at it. You're good at first-person shooters. Use them often. This game is really good, but it's really hard, so I made it a fact after taking numerous tries on the first boss that I need to use a walkthrough. Step exercise, I suck at that. Well, exercise is important, so... Very important. I'm gonna follow this walkthrough exactly the way it's telling me to. Okay. Oh. Try to throw a grenade at me. Accelerator core pressure increased to 2.5 kilowatts. The only thing I suck at are point-and-click adventure games. They confuse me greatly without a walkthrough, especially with some of the really obvious obtuse puzzles I've seen. Yeah, that happens. No pain, no gain. There is actually a website called Universal Hint System, UHS, and you can get non-spoiler hints there. Hang on a second.
Yeah, sorry about that. I had to take care of something I completely forgot about. And you are right. I think it's uh, UHS hints. I love puzzles, but yes, yeah, sometimes it's like whatever naturally complete the series events. It's for more of the older point and click adventure games, but it does have some of the new ones. If you ever played the REM series, it's stupid hard, way harder than Mist. Can't say I have. When I get lost in points and click adventure puzzle games, I'm not gonna lie. I'm guilty of just clicking every pixel. Yeah, sometimes you gotta pixel hunt. If a game makes you pixel hunt, then it's just bad game design as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so we made it here. Yeah, I usually resort to trial and error, combining every object in their inventory. I've been playing um, Neponia. That's the way you gotta play that game. Although if you hold down spacebar, it tells you what you can interact with as a hint. Run to the door up ahead, it will be marked K4. We did that. We went to K4. The field medical pack on the right and a pistol ammo on the left. Now flip the switch in the back, open the door, and get ready to run again. Run to the right once the current has passed and get to the corner area against the left wall. There will be some pistol ammo here. Wait for the current to run by again and then go to a one marked K3. Do not pull the switch yet. The switch is in the room to the right of this room. It must be activated first. After all four matches, switches have been pulled. Okay. Mechanarium is so cool. Yeah, I want to play that. Uh, that is, looks like one of the coolest games. Yeah, the Ponyo was fun. Um, I'm still making my way through Chapter 3. I'm gonna make it. Got the pistol ammo that we really didn't need. Come on. This is where we get stuck. Got him. Yeah, I know, um, Sad Boy G picked up, uh, Siberia, I played earlier in the year, and that's actually all right. Now, you do need some hints here and there, but it's not too bad, I thought. That... There'll be an MP3 waiting in this room. There's a field medical pad against the wall and a side rejuvenator. Do not pull the switch yet. The switch in this room is in to the right of this room. It must be activated first. After all four switches have been pulled, a door in the back will open. How many switches did I pull? I thought I only pulled... Pulled two. All right, there's a switch. I hope he doesn't run out of this room. I gotta possess him. Better us than him, that's what I say. Oh shit, we're not gonna make it. Oh, we made it. We're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it. Oh, we did it. This is pulled though. Hold on. Run, 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 run. Here. Accelerator core pressure increased to 5.4 kilowatts. Okay, we did it. We got past it. Must sure not be a checkpoint after this. 
Uh, Siberia is going to be a lot of fun. I mean, it's an old school classic game, but I try to focus on one game at a time since I have such a terrible horrible memory. It's hard for me to have to play many playthroughs. Yeah, I think it's a game you want to play consecutively because of what it is. Um, I actually got Still Life series running. I hope to stream. I had to do a lot to get that working. It used to work until the last Windows update and then they screwed everything up. So, in the new year we will be playing through that series. It's made by the same people who made Siberia. And it looks really good. It's like a detective game, but man, does it take a lot to get it running. Half the fixes aren't even in PC Gaming Wiki. This is it, huh? Let's try making a checkpoint. Oh, there's a gnome here. Pick up the gnome. That just unlocks a bonus mission, which... Like I said, I have no real reason to play. Maybe I'll go back and play it on my own. Now, point-and-click adventure games, you kind of want to just play them all the way through. Otherwise, you lose focus. Just in case, you never know who's going to be up top. A very dark game. All clear. I mean, all clear. I'm right here. See, he was gonna run out. Did I kill him? Probably. This guy was gonna run out and hit the alarm. Not what we wanted. Radioactive um, cylinders. I bet you we're gonna use that to take on the next boss. How's he still alive? Oh, he's annoying. I have no more side power. That might be an indication why I can't pick him up. Got him. Guy in the back with three switches. What are you showing me? What is all this? Hang on. The power up over here, a Psy Rejuvenator. I need that. Okay. What's on the... Oh, I see. I do with him. Not much. Eh. Or he sounds the alarm. Or a little. That's a dead end. There's a camera up there. Uh, 
elevator. Another turret. Another door we can't go through. Keep killing them in the radioactive cooling water. Nice of them to keep giving me pistol ammo, but whenever I ever used a pistol here. Pistol ammo is full. That what I needed to do? Yes. Pull. Or rather push. Son of a. There's a way to do this. Are you kidding me? I think I'm gonna puke. And I threw everybody in the water so I can't go and get their psi energy. I have to reload here. Are there are any dead bodies I did not throw in there. Him. Yeah. How do I get to him? Don't. Can't get to him. <laughs> They're too far away for me to actually. Interact with and take their psi abilities. Who's down here? I hear somebody. Okay, let's give it a minute. If I can't find a way out of here, I'm gonna have to reload this area. Kinda sucks. Doing so well. Switches on the right side. That's what we need to mess with. The room on the right side. That's what I meant. Keep going that way, but there's nothing in that room. It's my first day. Not your first day. Calm down. I think we are soft-locked. Um, we're going to have to do this over again. Did you see that Blood Vein remaster was released today? Yes, I saw that. I was so happy. So far, they have positive previews. I'm looking forward to playing them already. Same here. Same here. I have... I played parts of the first one. I never played the second one. Never beat the first one. And now there's a reason to really go back and play it in uh, the way it was meant to be played. 
Oh my goodness, I have no... nothing in my inventory. There's got to be a place to get Psy Power here. Yeah, I own Boat, but only beat the first one. Soft locked. Yeah, I probably am soft locked. Like, who's reacting to me right here? Somebody in this room? That's where we came from. Not gonna let me go back. Okay, last time. We're gonna do one more run through if I can't find anybody's psychic ability to take. Like, come over here. I need to blow your head away. There's actually two dead bodies on that side, but I can't get to them. Alright. Try it again. Where is it going to start me, though? That's the thing. Yeah, so far it's had really positive reviews, and um, I'm glad that they did that. Blood Rain deserved that. What are you doing? No, you don't. I didn't hit him. What the heck was I doing if it didn't hit him? He's going to hit that alarm again, isn't he? Get back here. Where do you go? That never gets old. The OG Blood Rain was a pain to get working on Modern OS, even with the GOG version. Indeed, it was. I mean, there's still life I couldn't get to work, even with the GOG versions. Postmortem, they worked for about like one version of Windows 10, and then that was it. Hey, do the machine. How's it going, man? Michael, my cousin gave me this account because I like the name so much. It just me again with a what a name I prefer for Twitch. Oh, cool! Welcome. How's it going, Michael? How's your weekend? I noticed that you followed me, and I was like, "Who's Dude of Machine?" I'm like, "That's pretty cool." You're beasting these games, man. They're such good quality. They're good, but very tough. Very tough. We, this is our second time going through here now. I don't know how much further we're going to get. I need to do the switches, and I think I need to do them in order. Hold on, did I press the switch here? Freaking back is killing you, though? Sorry to hear that. Mine was acting up too today, but... I think it's the weather, truthfully. Where are you? Okay, you're dead. There we go. Taken care of. Maybe we need to do them in order. One, two, three. Yeah, it's definitely the weather. That's what it is. Hold on. I'm enough of this. Just. Down the ladder, there was a field medical pick on the. Oh, 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 oh. Go down if you want to collect a secret item. There's a field medical kit, right? Yeah, we didn't pick that up yet. Either way, get up to the control room by going to the stairs on the right, press the red switch. 
There are a total of five MP3, MP2s in this room. MC them one by one and let them jump into the blue liquid. Worker in the control room poses no trap threat. So what you will with, do with him, there's a field medical kit against the wall. You can activate the right and left switch on the side and then press the red button to lower the platform. Okay. That's how we're gonna do it here. Boss, when I play stuff, keeping chill and skill. Yeah, even when I make fun of Nyx and laugh at him, he's like, "Man, whatever." <laughs> I enjoy it, man. I don't, I don't. It's all good, man. I'm chill. This is. That's what we needed to do. All good, guys. I, I have rage quit. I've gotten mad. There have been some pretty bad playthroughs that have been insanity inducing for me. Ice Ice Baby. That's why I do this, because it, it keeps me, like, grounded. I have my moments. You should see me when I'm working. We did it. We lowered that platform. So does that make the water non-toxic? Should I die and try it? Hang on. Get this item back here. What was that game I played? Oni? You go back and look at my playthroughs of Oni. By the end of it, I was just like, this is BS, man. Cursing my head off. Wish I never played that game, but it was a request. It was on my list, so... I was like, sure, let's play it now. Anything else up here I need? No. So, where do I go now? I think the water is not toxic anymore. Oni was stupid hard. I mentioned that I almost snapped my Oni CD in half. I believe you. I was really mad and just yelling at the screen. It took me like 9 to 10 playthroughs to get through it and a lot of it was just BS, like, the enemies would just run up to you and, like, one punch kill you, or... You'd be trying to hit them and completely miss them. And I was playing it with a patch, too, that was supposed to fix all of the bad parts of the game. And activate the right and left switches, go through the door in the back, and go straight. See, this, this is a horrible, horrible playthrough, because it doesn't tell me what happens if I jump into the water now. I'm afraid to jump in here because it's going to kill me. I think I need to get to the other side. But even then, there's no way to get up on the other side. Oh, I forgot that game, Oni. <laughs> that one trap room where you stuck in for the longest time. Yes, I remember that. I know exactly the room you're talking about. 
Phil commentary pretty much establishes this great playthrough, so don't worry. <laughs> Thank you, Dude Machine. Um, actually, I think all retro streamers are pretty chill. I mean, everybody who's hanging out here is pretty chill on their streams, too. I haven't seen anybody rage quit in a very long time. Plasma's gotten mad, I've seen him, but most of the time he's chill. Go through the door in the back. Is this the door? There's something I need to open here. I'm going to regret this because it's going to soft lock me, but... Exactly why I did not want to jump into the water and risk it. Go through here. I go from zero to chill to go after yourself in like five seconds sometimes. It happens to everyone. And back to chill immediately. Only game I remember rage quitting like recently was I want to be this in your game like months ago. Really? I made progress on the final boss after that. So it's all good. Jeez, all those IWBTG clones are brutal. <laughs> This is how I get across? There's a ladder here, isn't there? I came in through that door. Who are you? See? He's alive again. Well, he was. Billy Bankly fell. It's my first day. There he is again. Twenty eleven, bro. Twenty eleven. Sorry, I keep reading this walkthrough. I need to figure this out. We gotta get to the boss. There's a boss here. Lower the platform on the outside into the blue liquid. Go through the door in the back and go straight. What door am I supposed to go straight? This is the door in the back, right? And then go straight to what? A wall? What am I missing? I don't understand. See how he's still alive? I think I need to be him. Get away from me. But there's nothing I could interact with on this side. Just some turrets. This gentleman who's walking around. Can't go through any of these doors. Can't go through the door on the other side. There's a key card over here. He keeps showing up in this room, so I know there's something I need to do. Get away from me.
bringing it up. Where am I? I figured this out. I'm supposed to be standing on this, right? Oh, this is nonsense. Those Hulk Rage days are behind you. They broke way too many peripherals. Keyboards, mice, controllers, desks, and chairs. Yeah. I never throw anything, but I do get mad. Super Meat Boy is addicting. Rage quitting. I've had my days. Try not to do it on stream, though. There's no reason. I get mad when... You know you're going to play this game to the end anyway. I've only, like, quit on a couple of games. Lost the... You gotta have this figured out. There's a tank here. So apparently you could take out these fences using the tanks, which I already used to blow up the characters. Alternatively, I could go here, and I could use the platform to jump across, they said, before it goes into the water, which I don't think is even possible. So we may have to play this one more time. I use my mic more, but my computer mic makes my voice, like, really not good. But I usually have music. We're so still, I thought <laughs> the stream froze. No. I was reading to see where I had to go to next. How to do this. And I think we'd have to sound the alarm to get more psi power. Yep, that's what I needed. Now we turn it off. Now he kills me. Okay, so we gotta do that over again. That's just Nyx entering focus mode. Don Cheetah! How are you? Thank you for the host, Don Cheetah. Welcome, Caffeine Terry. Caffeine Terry, how are you doing? You having a good weekend? Sorry, I was trying to get through this intense moment of the game, so... Peter, how's your weekend? Hope all is good. I'm good. I'm trying to figure out this game. I'm a little more calmer now that we beat the boss in the last level. I keep running out of power here, so I have to restart. Got him. We have enough med kits, so I'm not really worried about my health here, but... I want to make sure they're dead. I guess that's how you keep getting enemies into the room, so you can reestablish your health or not your health but rather your psi ability you just keep hitting that alarm which is kind of dumb who's back here that every time i walk back here they like grunt and do whatever they need to do 
Okay, now I know how to get past the next room, I think. I have to blow up the fences. Beat this game. Or this level, at least. I'm amazing? I don't know about that, Cheetah, but thank you. Your other one is truly amazing. Oh, we already know how amazing Nyx is. Now, please stop that. Flattery. Flattery is nice. I appreciate it, but... I'm not all that. So many simps, I'm just so jealous. <laughs> believe in yourself. I believe in myself. I'm sarcastic when I believe in myself, but... First things first. Where's the other one? There's another one walking around up here, I know. Oh, sorry. All that in a bag of chips. <laughs> I like that. Okay, apparently there's one more. I do not want to blow up those canisters. Here he is. Oh, my pistol ammo is full. I did that for nothing. Okay, that takes care of all five. Let's see if we can do this correctly now. This part is definitely janky, but I'm still enjoying the game. I think I was supposed to blow up the fence. Let's try this the way it's meant to be done. Get away from me. Oh, the sleeper shell. The Moticon. The infamous one. I always put sunglasses on. The two-headed rabbit. I'm gonna be sick. Wait, what? Oh yeah, you can jump across before it gets into the water. Must have arrived out of my TV screen playing Dark Souls, oh no. <laughs> Turn this off. Actually, leave him alive. Here's what we're gonna do. At least I got my Psy ability back. I think I really had a burning desire for you next. I think he did. That was too much for him, his head exploded. I'm gonna ask you, and be honest, what do you guys think of uh, the Mega Man and uh, Inuki Mario? Emotes. I mean, they were a big upgrade from the Pac-Man I had before, but I also got a change of on the uh, description. Um, as a subscription badges. Emotes look cool. Thank you. Yeah, it took me way too long to change them. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. 
and I figured it out. I'm like, just grab a screenshot of some Nintendo games and make them into emotes. I hate how Twitch loves messing up the sizes, though. Of course. Whoops, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Keep dropping them all in. Should be two more. There's one. Did he land safely? Oh, he's still dead. And the other one. Please tell me he's not alive. He's alive. Really? I got him. Nope. All that armor he's wearing. Yeah, size does matter. Yes, it does. Safely dead. Yeah, I was gonna go one of two ways, and then I was like, yeah, stick to Nintendo. It's retro, it's... Step up from the Pac-Man in terms of uh, video game generations. Alright, let's see if we can make it across. Um, before I try that... There better be a checkpoint after this. Wait, where do you go? Wait, what? Where is he? Where's the guy I got a mind control in there? Oh, what? Oh, don't tell me he's not there. Like, this is glitched out. That guard must be used to throw you throwing around his weight around. But he can't die. But I think. I have no way to go across. It should be respawning them. Right there. Is there a switch I missed? I think I missed a switch. This one, right? Nope. Oh, this game is a little janky. Not again. Yeah, I don't want to go through this part anymore. And I have to, and he's not here now. Oh. He should just keep respawning. He went out that door. See that? Never came back. I can't continue now. The only other way to do this was to um, blow up the fences, I think. The only other thing I could blow up the fences with is this. Which blows up instantly. Yeah, I should have played the PC version. I could have find a Russian translation. This PS2 version is just like whack. Especially in this part. Oh, I could have used those to blow it up. Try it again. Trying it again. Get patches to fix the PC version. I, don't, I think there's like one patch for the Russian version. That's about it. No! No, you son of a... Where did you just take me? Oh, we might be rage quitting now too. I got past this part. I gotta go through this again? I should have done restart checkpoint, not low game. Ah, 
Oh, are you kidding me? I gotta go through this again. This is a nightmare in this game. On the PS2. I really gotta go through this again. This is insane. It brought me all the way back here. There's no checkpoint beyond this. Who are you? For real, I gotta go through all this again. I'm a little angry here. Maybe I can get a PS2 uh, PC version running for tomorrow's stream and just find a save game to continue here on the PC. Yeah, that that beyond sucks. That's just BS. BS. Okay, so I'm not supposed to pull that yet. But I think I just killed the only two people who could have... I could have mind control to go over there. The room is burning. Hold on, I gotta do this with full... Run, run, run. I don't think he's gonna make it. Alright, better him than me. Hey, Scurvy Dave. How are ya? Thank you for the lurk. Appreciate it. Plus you can use a widescreen fix on the PC version. I'm sure I can. We make a run for this. <sighs> Try it one more time. If I get past it, we'll continue to the next part. If not, I'm going to switch to the PC version tomorrow. If I can get one. I know this game isn't sold anymore, so... At least in the United States. Actually, I checked on CD Keys, and they're a uh, European company, and they didn't have a European version, so... Accelerator core pressure increased to 1.2 kilowatts. Make it to that next room? So wait, if you switch to PC version, will you have to start over? Um, if I find a save file, I probably wouldn't. Unless there's a way to... I would have to find a save file, basically. Apparently there's freeware PC version, but it has in-game ads. Oh, that was the... I think the army or the navy or somebody, like, sponsored the game and released it. We're doing good tonight. We're just having a hard time with this game because the PS2 version apparently is janky. 
Hope you're doing good, Dave. Yeah, I don't think there is save. The save is compatible between PS. Yeah, it's not going to be. I'm hoping I could find like a repository of save files, or maybe there's a stage select, a mission select. I don't know. Just so heartbroken that this happened. Throws a grenade. Accelerator core pressure increased to 5.4 kilowatts. Let's see if we can get our way out of this. We're pretty much soft locked here. This is BS. Complete BS. How do we do it the first time? Such a good game, too. It's like I really want to finish it, but... Indeed. We're gonna do this. I mean, how long... How much longer am I gonna stream to? We could do this real quick. I'll just use the walkthrough, I guess. Build the MP2, or take him over. Um, have him run. To the right. And stand next to the worker. After the current goes by up ahead, it'll be marked K4. Go to K4 first. Close to the MP2 and get the field medical pack on the right and pistol ammo on the left. Now flip the switch in the back, open the door, and get ready to run again. So I need to go to MP4 first, or K4. Once the current has passed, then get to the corner against the left wall, and there will be some pistol ammo. Wait for the current. All right, I got to take him over to go to the far left. Then I got to go to the two doors on the right. Yeah, this game was fun when I played it, but it was a long time ago. I have to play it in the future sometime to see if it's still good. It is good. I like it a lot. Soft locking you is the... I'm being soft locked by the fact I can't get past the next part. Like, I need the guy in the room who's... Um, to use the switch, and there was a little glitch in the game. He did, wasn't in that room. It's not like I killed him or anything, so. There you go. He's gonna go left. I'm gonna let him go left. And we're gonna do all the rooms to the right. Come on, before I run out of MC power. There's... Of the area I need to get past where I can't jump into water. It's like toxic water. And what I need to do is control one of the workers in the blue suits in the room that he's in to get across. Problem is, he's not there. I think I got to this part in trying to recall if you're further than the part I got soft locked in. Wouldn't be surprised if this is where you got soft locked. Oh, he's got... He's actually... I needed what he had in his hand. I just realized that. Now we're stuck. I gotta keep going right, I think. No, I know this isn't. I'd recognize the spot. 
Everyone is getting soft locked in this. <laughs> PS2 version, at least, right? Gotta make it into this room! I made it. Alright, this is how we got past this last time, so let's let's make sure we can do it this time. Wait a minute, did I just mess up by killing both of them? The door is still closed. I screwed this up too. We're dead. It doesn't autosave. Creature, I forget what game you were playing recently. It might have been Suffering. It's like that, where it tells you that it's a checkpoint. But if you don't actually save when it's a checkpoint, it doesn't save the game. I think that's the same. I was thinking of you because I think that's what happened to you in Suffering. Like, even though it has a checkpoint, you have to save the checkpoint. Yeah, it seems like a glaring oversight by the devs on the PS2 version. It, it is just horrible. We're going to play for another half hour, so let's try it. Yes, oh my god, yes, the suffering. That's why I would play that on the PS2, uh, not on the PS2. I'd really have to find, like, saves for the PC version. Has save anywhere on the PC? Yeah, you need that. Accelerator core pressure increased to 1.2 kilowatts. Definitely need that. Okay, so... Here's what we're gonna do. We gotta go to the two rooms on the right. In order not to get soft locked in this area, we can't kill both of the gentlemen in that room. Hey, you can only kill one. Uh. Whoops. I ran out too fast. I love the suffering. Definitely a fantastic game, especially when you can save during those escort missions just to make it easier to get the best ending. There are programs that allow rebinding of keyboard controls. The issue with me is the controller, and I'm never sure what game I have controller support on PC. I tend to play first-person suitors mainly with a keyboard and mouse, but I could see why on that game you would want to play it with a controller. It's the same thing with this game. I couldn't... Like, third-person games? I think I want to play them. Come on. Because that's the right guy. I think I really want to play them with a controller. Especially this one. Maybe we get past this part now. All right, just give up and decide what we want to do tomorrow. Accelerator core pressure increased to 1.2 kilowatts. I'll waste any more psi on him. What does the hypo spray actually do? Does anybody know? I think it explained it to me at one point, but 
I was at the beginning of the game. Accelerator core pressure increased to 2.5 kilowatts. Yeah, I had an old... I had one at some point. Called the Pinnacle? I like Soul Reavers, notorious for not liking modern controllers. Oh yeah, Pinnacle is the one where you could, um... Oh, he died from cancer? I didn't know that. Pinnacle is where you could bind your keyboard keys to your, uh... Gamepad. I remember that. Oh, I didn't know he died of cancer. That, that really, really sucks. Get inside, get inside. Okay, do not kill the guy in blue. Okay. This is what we need to do here. We need to stand here. Get this guy to run over to the next room for us. That's how we did it. Right? Shoot, he's got to go over one more room. Not going to make it. I think I bought a game pad or a joystick and it came with Pinnacle? Could be wrong. But I seem to remember having Pinnacle because of that. There's another one now if you want to try it. It's open source. Let me see if I can look it up. I think they were developing it up until recently. I think it's called Joypad. Can't remember. X Patter was also another one. Yeah, X Patter is pretty popular. I think. Look up Joypad. I think it's on GitHub. Yeah, this, I, I. Okay, let's concentrate on this and let's see if we can get past it. I did save when we got to the second part of this. It did not let me, I don't think it actually saved, it was a checkpoint, so I could not actually save the game. Try this again. I think we need to go two doors to the left. Make a run for it. I think the problem is, is we don't have enough power to get him all the way where he needs to go. Two doors down. Accelerator core pressure increased to 1.2 kilowatts. Get in there, get in there. The other door should be right here. Switch is right here. Alright, my bad. I think we figured this out. I searched for that and got this website called keysticks.net. Looks like a similar type of software with keysticks where you can use a game controller to surf the web and play games on music. No, that can't be it. That can't be it. At least it's 100% free, right? I used it once on a game, and I was like supporting the developer by mentioning it on the chat. Maybe it wasn't called Joypad. Is it? On Soft Sonic. 
Use an iPhone as a remote game controller. Yeah, no, that's not it. I'll find the name of it and I'll post it. I'll, I'll send it to you guys. This is also 100% free. Yeah, last version update, apparently September 9th, 2020 on key sticks or X pattern. Oh, brother. I forgot about the switch in this room. What are you doing? Oh, mom. Joy to Key, that's the one I'm thinking of. Sorry. Joy to Key, that's it. You got it. Thank you. Oh, wait for it. Wait. Run, 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 run. Yeah, that special armor is supposed to not make him get killed. So we're going to stand back here. We're going to use this man. Actually, let's make sure we have enough power to use him. He's got to go to the door to the right. I don't think he's going to be able to, but... He needs to go back to the original door we came from. Not even this one. Come on, run, 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 run. Dude, we're not going to make it. Oh, we made it. Look at this. Get out of here. F this game. Sorry, DRS. I think we're done with this game. I think we're done with this game. I don't care how many health kits you give me, there's no way I can make it all the way back to that other door. Where is he? Here. Go do this for me. And I gotta make it all the way back to the original door, so... That's gonna be impossible to do. Flip the switch. Accelerator core pressure increased to 5.4 kilowatts. Yeah, that was an FU moment by this game. I think we're, we're pretty much done here. Try it one more time. Try it one more time. What the heck is this? This is indeed the worst part of this game. And I was enjoying this game up until this point. It really was. See, let's bring him into this door and let's have him kill him. All right, he got killed. I don't think we actually killed that that armored guy. One more time for the next hour, every gamer. Yeah, I have to toss it out the window. Indeed. Maybe we'll be starting a uh, vampire. Masquerade bloodlines tomorrow. We tossing this game out the window, possibly, Dave. Being very unforgiven on the PS2, at least. 
I think I should have played the PC version. Now we're going to die right here because I got stuck on the wall. I looked at chat. I think I've seen you done it a couple, uh, do it a couple of times on the uh, stream as well, but there is a PC version of the game. I think it's European, Russian only. So I need to figure out if I could actually get a, my hand on it. There's a free version that was put out by like the army, I think. That's it. Taking a trip back to Oasis. <laughs> That one wasn't my fault, sadly. Okay. What do we do? Let's look this up. Hold on. Let's see if I could actually get a version. I mean, I don't want to play this with save states, and that's what it's forcing me to do. Let's see if we get a PC version. Code Veronica, I for sure had to stop. Code Veronica is pretty hard. I've seen DRS play it, so... He's still playing it. It's been like a couple of weeks now. He got soft locked in it. Biops for the PC. game has to be abandoned, right? Sold anywhere? I think it's sold somewhere. Amazon. Interesting. I could go through Amazon. Never beaten the second half of Code Veronica? I want to play it. But after seeing DRS play it, I'm having second thoughts. So if I were to get a PC version. See, this is the version with the commercials. Are there saved games? There are some saved games. There are some save games for the PlayStation 2. Would that help us? Let's try it now. Castlevania 3 is hard. Banjo 2 e sucks. Oh yeah, I also quit on my favorite game and Plasma's favorite game too. Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. <laughs> This guy I thought was going to have save games for me. Apparently he's no longer a member. Um. Oh wait, here are the files. BBS format? CBS format. Screw it. Let's try it one more time. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save state. I don't care. Dark Corners is so good, but broken, indeed. I really, really, that's like a game you really want to play and you really want to be good. We're going to use save states. I don't care. I've had enough of this. Even if we just use it to get back to the point where we're at, we're going to use it. Dragon's Dogma? Really? What made you quit Dragon's Dogma? I can't remember why you quit Dragon's Dogma. Save state? Yeah. DRS, you picked a really good game here, but the PS2 version is misbehaving. Nobody's fault.
safe state right here. Wrong scene? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Stupid. Thanks, creature. Is Blood Rain the game they made that terrible movie about? They made three terrible movies about that game. Two Blood Rain movies. Sorry, guys. We, we already pushed the first lever, and then I save-stated it. Difficulty spike in Dragon Dogma? I was gonna. I was thinking about picking that up after I saw you play it too. Now I'm having second thoughts. Um, the third Blood Rain movie was actually Bub Blubberella. It was called, which was horrible. I don't know what the point of that movie was. No, Monster Hunter is the game they're making into a terrible movie. Yeah, they're making that too. But it's Kamila Kunovic. They also made terrible RE movies from those awesome games. They're making one now that's supposed to be more like the game. Blood Rain 1 is a must play. <laughs> it is. I'm gonna give it another go and the second game and that they've updated the versions. Wait, what? The med kit we always forget on getting. Okay, so this one we're gonna press. Accelerator core pressure increased to two point five kilowatts. Safe stated here. Lopperella is a separate movie? I thought it was a uh, Blood Rain movie. I watched the first RE movie and I never want to watch another one again. Trash. I knew they were trash going into it, so I, I still watched it. But they are pretty bad. The third one was watchable. It was okay. That's all I could say about it. Alley larder in it. Where is he? Where do you run to? He can't leave this room. Because if he leaves the room. He's got to go two doors down. Basically back to where I started. That's where he's got to go. This is where we always die, right here. Or he gets janked by the door. Alright, so we finally got parked past this part. I don't think there are any good video game movies, personally. Like, how hard is it to take the source material and make it into a movie? Silent Hill is more like a spin-off, yeah. Be the judge of that. <laughs> Mortal Kombat and Silent Hill are best of the movie adaptions I've seen. Yeah, I like the Mortal Kombat game. Can't argue about that. Somebody calling me on their phone? What's going on here? Alright. Now we save point it. I'm gonna get through this game. I don't care. Save stated, that's what I meant. Save point it. Yeah, Mortal Kombat was decent. 
hard to think that. Yeah, I personally, I'm not even gonna go for the gnome. I could care less about the gnome at this point. We're not gonna do these bonus missions. Like, you could have taken the entire... You could have taken the entire first Resident Evil and just made it into a movie. You had to pad it, of course, with other stuff, but... It was doable. Go, oh, Gnome, you're drunk. I think I need a drink after playing this game. You just kick me in the nuts. That's what you get for doing that. <laughs> I keep hearing the random person grunting and screaming right there, but there's nobody there. You told me I can't carry anymore. No, I can. No, I want to listen to that killer soundtrack to Mortal Kombat. That was a good soundtrack too. Remember, we had it at our college radio station and just played it over and over again. The original script for our remove is literally identical to the game by George Romero of the Living Dead fame. Really? But Capcom fired him and took stupid Paul Anderson and ruined the series. I did not know that plasma. Wasn't too bad. You have the hack that made Horizon Horizon. Horizon Horizon wasn't that bad, but it was it, nothing to write home about. You have George Romero writing Resident Evil. What is wrong with you? Okay, let's safe state this. Why? Why would you do that? The original script is online. I gotta find it now. Whoops. Take his gun. Oh, come on. Really? I don't care. Just... He's still alive, isn't he? No, not anymore. AVP movies? That's the guy who did the AVP movies? Yeah, forget about that. Could have gotten Wes Anderson to do an RE movie. You probably would have done a better movie. Whoops! You're dead. Goodbye. Let's see if we can get actually past this point. See if we can do this the right way now. It's all about the man in the suit. The blue suit. In that room right there. Okay, I'm gonna save state this now. John Carpenter would have been good. Yep. Imagine Uwe Boll did the Resident Evil movies. There's a reason he didn't do them. Oh, Lord. That would have been funny. Dude, AVP was amazing, but the last Predator movie, though, was... Eh. 
The last Alien movie was... Oh, the last Alien movie. Don't get me started on that. All he had to do was a sequel to Prometheus and not make an Alien movie, and he just messed that whole thing up. Let's see if we can get across now. I don't care. Let's safe state everything. Gotten pretty far in this game without safe stating it. Oh, look who made it to the other side! And look who's gonna get killed now. Finally, right? Who else is shooting at me? Am I being shot at? Yeah, don't die. I'm gonna save state it right now, and that's it. We're not safe stating it anymore. We're gonna play this game legitimately. I'm gonna get past mission six tomorrow. And we got mission seven and the boss, which I heard is the worst. Remember when Uwe Bowl wanted to box everyone? <laughs> yeah. I do. Maybe I think it looks embarrassing. Shiny Sky Portal sends people to another land. Same old rehash garbage. Shoot it with big guns. Explosion. Barf. Alien Covenant is one of the worst movies I have ever seen in my life. Dave, I agree with you 100%. It was crap. And the only reason why he made that movie is because the fans pressured him into making that movie because they wanted Prometheus to be an Aliens movie. And it was not meant to be an Aliens movie. That's why he made Alien Covenant and he destroyed it. Hopefully they took away his... Uh, his contract to make any more. I was so mad when I left in theaters. I was completely pissed. They rewrote the history of the whole entire Alien series. That was just crap. I'm going to try to do a real save checkpoint here. I've made hardly any progress today. Just keep playing the same part over and over again. So at least try to get to the boss. Thanks for hanging out and putting up with this. This is like crazy. We're gonna go a little bit further. There's one more area and then we get to the boss and then I'll save the boss for tomorrow. Don't like Prometheus that much? It was okay. I really like Prometheus because it wasn't an alien movie. It, was just a sci-fi movie that he just wanted to do a movie about the guys that, or rather in the second Alien movie, the Aliens, the guy who was sitting in that chair. He just want to explain that guy. That's all he wanted to do. That's all he needed to do. Covenant makes Aliens 3 look like an Oscar winning masterpiece, oh lord. I sure do, that's why I hate garbage like AVP movies. I can get down with them too, but... Checkpoint reached! Now, that's not a save. I have to actually save the game. Because if I don't save it now, there is no checkpoint. <laughs> Alien Resurrection? Nick, it's me. Where have you been? Back off. What's going on? You left me on the shores of the Black Sea. Don't play me for a fool, Sarah. Whose side are you on? I don't know what you're talking about. I do know you're looking for a way to stop the fusion process. What do you know about it? The General built this complex to fuse the fragments together. The object we had was the central piece to a powerful artifact. Luna 1, I know. What is head? It's like cracking. It was discovered on the moon in the 50s, Nick. The U.S. and the Soviets both detected it and raced to get to it first. And you gave it back to this maniac? What are you talking about? Why would I do that? Sarah... Trust you. Take this. It's a key card for the armory on this floor. Good luck, Nick. I hope you make it. How can anybody hate Brad Dereef? <laughs> okay, so we got a key card from this woman. Sarah, whatever her name is. What? Toasty.
Oh no, I haven't saved the game yet, you idiots! I have not saved the game at this point. I have not legitimately saved the game. They just run in here to kill me before I can hit the save checkpoint. <laughs> Battleship? But Battleship wasn't based on a video game, it was based on like a board game. Found NATO, yes. You mentioned that one. I looked it up. It's stupid, but it's worth watching, I think. There's like a clown car full of these guys in there. Should I take the shotgun? Should I take the other machine gun, which is crappy? Go to shotgun. Uh, oh, I know which room we're in. I think this is where all the turrets are. It means we're screwed. We already came through here. There's a cutscene. Rampage? Kamiko. Who is that redheaded woman? Never saw Rampage. Marlena Kessler. She fled East Germany's psi programs when the wall came down. The only thing more unpredictable than her pyrokinesis is her temper. Be careful, Agent Scryer. The setup checks will have to be bypassed. I won't tolerate any more delays. You don't know what you're asking. The fusion process is highly unstable. Our security has been compromised. Weilu's cloaking has gone down. The process must be completed before UN troops reach us. Damn it, Scryer. You should be dead. Deal with it. Do you like playing with fire? <laughs> yeah, she's cute until she burns you alive like Carrie. Um... Wait, what? They just killed me like that. Look at them, look at them kick me, too. You guys are all gonna laugh at me for that. He was just like repeatedly kicking me and he was on fire and I'm like, what the heck is going on? Speaking of video game movies, I was gonna say that they can't make a decent Hitman movie, right? Kick while on fire, yes. This is where they all come in like a it's a clown car. Oh wait, I could just blow this up in the back of the room. I just realized that. There we go. I don't like how they limit your rechargeables in this game. Kind of lame. Get the machine gun. It's kind of crappy, but... Max Payne was a dumpster fire too, yeah. The first Hitman was meh. The, sec the second one had an amazing trailer that made me want to watch it. And then it was just crap. Amazing trailer though. You like Max Payne, you think? Might have to go back and rewatch it. Yeah, I skipped Assassin's Creed too. Who is that redheaded woman with the general? Marlena Kessler. She fled East Germany's psi programs when the wall came down. Yeah, right. Only thing more I agree with you, Nikita.
I had to box him in, literally. I don't know what she was going to say. She said something about being predictable. See if I can get to that camera and destroy it. Son of a... I mean, I could have just done that, right? And that's where the boss is, so we can't go in that way. Please be still alive. I want to use you. Like this. Doom Raider? The Doom movies? Anything with a rock in it is like, you know it's going to be bad. If it's a video game movie with a rock in it. Can I shoot it? Now we're, we're screwed. I think what other obscure movies were made, or what other obscure video games were made into to movies. I think we've pretty much covered everyone. I had such a good run there too against everybody in this room, right? Wait for the rest of them to get in here so I can blow them all up. Well, I already blew most of them up. That gun I had was trash too. Ready Player One, did anybody see that? That was pretty bad. I don't know what the point of Ready Player One was. I mean, like, yeah, I, I get what you're doing, but why make that movie? Street Fighter movies, yeah. And wasn't there also a Dead or Alive movie? But yeah, the, the story is good. The movie was like, eh. You weren't offended? A plus then. Alright, now we gotta fight the guys on fire again. Oh no. I'm like, why can't I light him on fire? I have no more pyrokinetics. I'm out of telekinetics. This is where we need to be really careful. Look out the turret. Final Fantasy Spirits went in. Advent Rising wasn't too bad. The Sonic movie is good. Yeah, that might be pretty good. Detective Tricky Pikachu. There's some good, well, watchable ones at least.
I kill him? No. Got him. Another one. Oh, come on. I buy in the box and take him out. Gamer movie with Gerard Butler. Don't remember it. I like I kind of have a memory about it, but At least they gave us some items here because you know what? Boss battles next. Let's see what it looks like. Like the shotgun? Is that it? I want us to use the shotgun against the boss? Hope they're right with the shotgun. Hardcore Henry. Was that really a movie based on a video game? Yeah, Hardcore Henry is what it was called. No? Different than Hardcore Henry? No, you don't. Come on. What are you doing? What was mine? I I I don't know if I could continue with this. Blood three. Game is really starting to piss me off now. Right, there was a need for speed movie. up to the boss. I have to switch to the machine gun. I got no choice. I got no ammo. Yeah, Angry Birds. I forgot about that. Like, this game is taking the piss with Nyx. It is. Like, every time I think, oh, I made it. And I gotta take out that turret again. I have to be perfectly accurate. This is where I need to be careful and accurate. That just shit on my parade right there.
perfectly accurate on a controller. I don't know, guys. I'm at the point where if I don't get to the boss by the next 15 minutes when I end the stream, we're going to literally, like, maybe reconsider this game. And I hate to do that because DRS picked it. And I really, really, up until this point, like the game. Honestly. Oh, way better than Oni. Way, way better than Oni. It's a hundred times better than Oni. And Oni, I played the PC version too. You'd think that would have been easier with all the saves I could, I could put into the game. Just jank. Yeah, I know I have to play it. I really want to get through this. Only it was a bungee game. Not a good one. That's the shotgun. It kills me when you're really close to figuring out this game. And then, all of a sudden, they throw some BS thing at you. Like, oh, the the camera that's surprisingly still working just detected you. So we're going to put this random guy behind you to kill you while you're trying to blow his head up. But it won't let you kill him that way. No, nah, it's, it's fun. I, I want to do it because it's fun. I want to finish it this week. I may have to finish it next week, though. I get him? I got him. No! What was her reasoning behind lighting them on fire? I, I don't understand that. Pirated. Bert. You can get reported to Twitch for that. Oh, come on. I messed that up. How do I get past this area now? Did I take out the turret? Nope. Son of a... No you don't. No you don't. Dead. There's a third one that comes running into. Anthem is better than Destiny? Anthem. Why would they give you... You got a boss battle coming up. Why would they specifically give you ammo to your, like, 9mm to take on a boss with? I don't understand. You go with the assault rifle? None of these bosses ever get taken out by any of the... Any of the actual... Weapons, you always got to use your Psy ability against them. 
I just want to get in the room that she's in. Mass Effect Andromeda. That was pretty bad, right? Dead Rising 4 was a piece of garbage. That for some reason... I decided, oh, Frank Wright's in it. Let me pre-order it. It'll give me something to play during Christmas. That's it. Where did this guy come from? This is the guy who killed me last time, right? I need to get into that room, and I need to save the game. I need to see what that battle is, and then I'm going to decide if we're going to continue it tomorrow or not, because... Fuck you with your security breach. I already got the turret. Oh, okay. I don't care about the camera. See? Look at this. See, he keeps backing up on me. Almost died right there. This is what I don't like about this game. Yeah, mind controlling was a good idea. I didn't think of that. I wanted to blow his head up so I could get all his side power. I hated DR4 because they made it, they changed the original game, they made it not optional to save survivors, and I thought that was the biggest cop-out. DR1 was this great. I played it on the Xbox 360, I had no problem with it. Me and my roommate finished it in a week. I don't even know what the purpose of DR4 was, I just like... Finished it, but in three days, there was no reasoning behind saving any of the survivors in that game, and that's what made it great. The timed saves of the survivors changed the outcome of the game. You got a different ending because of that. Oh, screw me. Is that because of this? Can I go in the elevator now? Four ninety-nine. Yeah, the fact they got a different voice actor for Frank bothered me too. Checkpoint reached. Okay, let's save. We're gonna go another five minutes here, and then that's it. We're gonna come back, and we're gonna... Beat the boss here tomorrow, and then play level seven. I don't know how we're gonna, or when we're gonna finish the end game, but I'm gonna see this through to the end. That's a promise. We got past the parts that were kind of janky. Weren't we already here? No, we weren't. Why would you just give me pistol ammo? Door is locked. That's probably the way out after you kill the boss. I don't know. Figure this out. The Deadly Premonition movie? I actually know people who like that game. And are streaming it. No, I think the boss is through that door. So let's see if we can find every power up that's here.
They really want me to go in that room. Yeah, DR1 was just... There was no game like DR1. Until DR1 came out. There was nothing like it. It was just like... Insane. You had the cultists. You had to get... You know... The achievements were like... A lot of fun. The Xbox achievements were cool. Alright, this is the boss battle, isn't it? Are we fighting him, or are we fighting the woman we saw earlier? I think we're fighting her. Weren't any clothes here. Is it getting hot in here? Hey, here's the other problem. This is my checkpoint now. I have to manually save the checkpoints. This, this is what I don't like about this game. Or is it just me? You know what? Since we're at it, let's figure this out. Give me a hint for the boss. The canisters do not rise up from the middle rack, then you have been glitched. Restart from the previous save, or try your luck with the additional strategy section to move further. If I have to restart this whole entire section, this, we're flushing this down the toilet. The rack does reload the canisters. Check around the room to make sure that all the canisters have been destroyed. I gotta destroy canisters? This doesn't make any sense. What are the objectives? Under the control of Marlena Kessler, the fusion reactor is a deadly machine that must be destroyed. Oh great, lasers. Pew pew pew! Reactor overload imminent. All personnel to safe zones. All personnel to safe zones. I told you not to play with fire! Oh, she literally told us that. Alright, we're gonna finish this stream now. Let's let's try one more time here. I'm gonna have to look up how to beat her. Oh, now she has a, a health bar. So, we're supposed to throw the canisters at her. If we drop the canister on top of the other canisters, it blows up everything, and then we die. Reacher. You know I'm only kidding when I say one more time. You really know how to get a girl hot, do I? <laughs> Easy one-liners. Wait, 
Wait, what? Alright, forget it. That's it. Let me see how to beat this boss. We're gonna come back tomorrow. <laughs> I agree. But that's already been used in a different game. Yeah, Wet was a great game. I have it. I wish they would have re-released it for the Xbox or made it backwards compatible, but I'm gonna have to play it on my Xbox 360, and I don't have a working Xbox 360 controller at the moment, I think. All right, well, there you have it, <laughs> PsyOps. We're going to continue with it. Hey, Tikaru, how are you? How's it going, Tikaru? I guess it's morning for you where you are. Good morning. Here's your man, Nick Scryer. Facial reconstruction and the memory wipe. Uh, what are discussions tonight? Sleeper must have left the room already a long time ago. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I'm good. I'm about to go to bed though, but I hope you have a good start to your Sunday. Hopefully I'll wake up just when you're about to stream. Um, That's it. This Hey, it is what it is. It's PsyOps. It's good game i like it and i'm gonna see it through drs picked it i don't hate the game it's got some moments where it's kind of screwing with me um the checkpoint system is horrible um that's what i could say but otherwise i like it i still do um we're gonna get more psi abilities i think apparently maybe not maybe we will i just have to figure out how to beat this last boss this next boss so everybody thank you for hanging out tonight on chat um we had a good discussion about bad movies video games good ones bad ones um rage quitting dave thank you for hanging out plasma tikaru we just got here i'm sorry we're gonna raid somebody now creature sleeper shell was on earlier drs 43 thank you for the host have a good night plasma always a pleasure to see you uh caffeine terry was here and Michael was here too. He's got his new his new um, Twitch tag, but I can't remember the name. Is it really a checkpoint if you have to manually save? No, I don't think it is. Have a good night, Vert. I appreciate you being here too. Everyone, Nikita, can't forget you. Dave, I mentioned Dave. So it was just a fun stream. I know it was a little messed up, but um, it's the game. It's hard. This is one of the harder games I've streamed. It's still better in Oni. It's still better in a lot of the shitty games I've played in the past. But um, this is not a shitty game at all. This is a good game, and it needs a remake. That I will say. So what are we going to do here? Who wants to see Among Us? Um, there's a poker game going on, too. Fallout New Vegas. Not too many people on. Um, what we're going to do? If anybody's got a suggestion, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to go to retro category. Just pick somebody at random. Go to retro. Somebody who doesn't have a lot of followers. How many do we have in the channel? 11. So let's rate somebody who doesn't have a lot of followers. Support a small streamer. Do that. Who's on? Family Feud? Is Vert playing Family Feud? Did he just start it up? Because I only play Vert Family Feud. Um, I'm going to pick somebody at random, I think. And it's someone good. That's great. It's someone bad. I don't think there's any bad people. I think we just want to support someone who... You know, these the people, the viewers. Um, pretty cool. Little clutch. He's playing Bard's Tale blind. Just raid him.
All right, everybody. Now another streamer, but you do you, man. Now, thanks, creature. I can only play a family feud if it's Vertigo. Let's read somebody new. He's playing an RPG. He's playing a, a really good one, too. So good night, everyone. I'll be on tomorrow. Torturing myself at 2 p.m. For a couple of hours. I'm not going to be very long. I have a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. Um... I'm going to change the schedule this week because of Thanksgiving. Tomorrow there will be a Sunday stream. The following Sunday there will not be a stream. I'm going to take that day off. But... Alright, have a good night. Raid. Join the raid at least. And then take it from there. Have a good night everyone.